Amid all the tragedy and turmoil, there are good things happening in the world, like the story of a Wyoming firefighter and his wife. They battled the odds, including a newly enacted ban on adoptions, and brought their new daughter home from Russia. 24 Hour News H, Joe LaFergie is live in studio with us tonight with more on their story, Joe. That's right, Mark. You know, we tracked the Nauta family story from their temporary Moscow apartment to the Ford Airport. Tonight, more on the return and what's next for the family. It had to have been a long walk down that airport jetway. 16-year-old Ilan Nada had spent half of her life in a Russian orphanage, and she was about to meet her new siblings in person for the very first time. It was a moment of hesitation, followed by an embrace that seemed to dissolve the apprehension. We took it a day at a time. We had to, sometimes hours at a time. and. Um, some days we didn't know if it was it was really going to happen. The Nauta story is one of faith and determination. They decided to adopt Eula over a year ago. They met the challenges of a foreign adoption. And just when all the I's were dotted and T's were crossed, Russia's president banned all American adoptions as of January 1st. The Nauta's worries continued all the way to the airport in Moscow on Saturday. You know, were they going to pull us aside and start going through every document. We had a real thick packet of documents. Uh, and were they going to start looking for mistakes? Were they going to start, you know, it, it's just that unknown. But in the end, customs was a breeze. The long flight was uneventful. The welcome home full of love. But the journey is far from over. We're going to get her in school, and she's got to learn the English language. We're going to start there. Sticky notes around the house uh, <laughs> with English words on them. And we're just going to, you know, take it a day at a time. The family knows getting Ela out of Russia was one challenge. Helping her get adjusted to her new family, new home, and a different way of life is a much different challenge. But they're going into it with an open mind and no expectations. If you have these expectations, if they don't come to fruition, um, you know, you might be disappointed, you might be angry. One, two. But we know one thing is that uh, even with our own biological children, that you, never, you can never plan um, exactly what's going to happen in life. So we're going to take it a day at a time. Various reports say there are close to 50 Americans in Russia right now who have run out of time and will not be bringing their adoptive children home. Now, these are families who have already bonded with these children over as much as a year. So it's a really heartbreaking situation.